you're just finishing school, halfway through college, or worse, about to graduate. Suddenly, you realize it's time to stop spending every hour of your day playing Grand Theft Auto and take charge of your life. And your money. Most teens and young adults have no idea what they're doing with their finances. But if you stay ahead of your peers and improve your financial knowledge, you'll get a lot closer to that Ferrari or that big house or whatever your financial goals are, a lot faster. So here are 5 great financial tips for teens and young adults to help you get your money in order. Number 1. Let your money earn interest. This first tip might be the best way to get you where you want to go financially, and you can implement it right now. If you have money in a piggy bank or under your mattress right now, sit down at your computer, smash the piggy bank, tear up the mattress, and put the money in an account that earns interest. You're young and want to spend your money on trips to the movies, new sneakers and a fancy new car. But look at it this way, if you put money into an account early in life and let it earn interest, you can retire very early. Number 2. Practice Self-Control if you're lucky, your parents probably taught you this lesson when you were younger. If you eat all the cookies now, you won't have any cookies later. But if you save the cookies, you'll enjoy them even more later. This is called delaying enjoyment, and it's an important skill in all areas of life, especially money. It's important to save your money for a time when you really need it. And unlike cookies, money earns interest and becomes more money. So try to save money when you can, and put your savings away for the future. Number 3. Control your financial future. Unfortunately, if you don't know about finances, there are some people who will try to take advantage of you. And young people are the favorite targets of these financial predators, because young people often don't know much about finances. Read a few books on personal finance. Do some research on the internet about credit cards, retirement accounts, mortgages, investments, and any other financial tips that are out there. The point is to arm yourself with financial knowledge so you can make sure your money is used in your best interest and not to make money for a greedy banker. Number 4. Start an emergency fund. I know you've probably heard it a million times from your parents, your teacher, or your annoying neighbor. When you're young, you think you're invincible. But to be honest, it's pretty true. While you may not expect it every day, things like injuries, illnesses, house fires, and car accidents can happen and you should definitely factor those into your financial plan. If you really want to be financially independent, you need to set up an emergency fund, a small amount of money that you can put aside if you ever find yourself in need. You should contribute to this fund regularly and consider these contributions as non-negotiable expenses. This means that a portion of your salary goes into your emergency fund each month. And number 5. Understanding Taxes when planning your financial future, it's important to consider how taxes will affect the amount of money you have available. Many people forget about taxes and are surprised when they have to pay a portion of their income to the government. If you have student loans, rent, cell phone bills, and all the other expenses that are piling up, not including taxes in your personal finance plan can throw a wrench in your plans and leave you stressing about how to pay all those bills. Do you still want to know the three reasons why you have no money? Then watch the video which we link to you here. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.